Okay, what I'm gonna talk about now is how to convert an engine to opposite rotation. This is a, happens to be a new old stock 318 truck engine. Now, how do I know it's a car? Well, it's got an aluminum timing cover, which the boat never had, and it's got steel freezer cast or, or you know, soft plug. So marine engines always had brass, so we gotta get rid of those. And this actually had a roller cam in it. This is a late model car engine. It actually had a roller cam. Somebody already took the cam and, and uh, lifters and stuff off it. So we're gonna convert this to a right hand opposite rotation engine. So I will go through the key points in this video on what you need to do. Okay, our 318 truck motor here. This thing actually ran for a very short period of time, looks like. So it's, I mean, I would call it virgin, but it's definitely been ran because it had, uh, you can see here with the discoloration, I mean, the valves and everything, of course, it's been sitting, we got fuzz hanging out of a couple of valves, but this engine definitely ran. You can see it had water in it at one point, you know, because the uh, exhaust, you know, the coolant ports got a little bit of rust in them. But a um, couple things here. So this engine had a rope main seal from the factory, which is correct, all right? Well, with rope, you have to have a serration, all right? In the crankshaft specifically. Well, you can see there's a serration here. See how it goes from left to right, okay? This crank is meant to spin this way because as the crank's spinning this way, the oil will rush into the motor, or at least be, I wouldn't use the word rush, but it will weep into the motor. If I don't do something with that neural, in this case, take it off or put another one on, if I just spin the crank this way, then the oil is gonna wanna rush out. So if I spin this engine the other way, which we're doing, we would definitely have an oil leak at some point, maybe right away or maybe a little bit down the road. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna chuck this crank up in our crank grinder and I'm gonna take five, five, six thousandths off this and actually grind that neural off. And years ago, I found some rear main seals for 318, old Chrysler, that does not have a serration. See how it's got a nice solid lip? It's a part number 354, 9392. Now you gotta be careful because when you go on eBay and try to look for these or old swap meets or whatever, that will update to a modern seal or a more modern seal that has a serration in it, okay? Now this happens to be the Felpro BS40245, which is the correct rear seal for an automotive rotation engine. Well, if you look here, see how I got serrations in that seal? Very little, right there close to that part number. See how I got those lines in there? That, that, that seal is meant for the crankshaft to turn, you know, car rotation or left-hand rotation. If I put this seal in a right-hand rotation engine, it's going to leak. So, because that serration on the seal is going to want to walk it away. So, with these old-school leftover Chrysler seals they made for a while in the 70s only, uh, I've only got a few of these left, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to grind the crank and we're going to put that seal on there. Heating up the rods to fit the pistons in the uh, 318. We're switching rotations on. All right, what I want to talk about now is piston thrust. Uh, there's another video on my channel where I talk about this in detail too, and it actually is on a Chrysler, but this is also a good review since I'm going to document on how to change uh, this particular engine and many others uh, from left-hand rotation to right-hand rotation. So left-hand rotation in, in review is for automotive uh, rotation engines clockwise from the front, okay? Uh, and opposite rotation is counterclockwise from the front. Well, I'm going to flip the camera around here to show something here. So on a clockwise rotation engine, which is going this way, my major thrust side is going to be here towards the intake manifold on the left bank, and on the right bank, it's going to be towards the exhaust manifold. So the crank is going this way. That is the major thrust side. Now, if you look at a piston, you see there's an F there for a front. And if you look real close, you'll see that it's the pin is offset, okay? So you see how there's a shorter distance from here to here and there's a longer distance from here to here. See that little hole? See how there's uh, more of a, uh, if I can show here this tab. <laughs> so you see how this, where this whole circle is here, how it's shorter to the center line and this here is longer. This is the major thrust side of the piston. 
okay? Well, since I'm reversing rotation, I don't want that to the front. I want that to the rear. So that's why this piston's turned around because on this opposite rotation engine, okay, my thrust now is gonna be on the exhaust manifold side of the uh, left bank and towards the intake manifold of the right bank, okay? Now the reason the pin is offset is for two, well, two main reasons. Number one, to prevent noise and to reduce piston slap. So if you think of this like this, okay, well, you want you want the rod to be kind of cocked before the piston fires. You don't want it up. You don't want it straight up and down. So that's why there's an offset to help reduce piston rock or piston slap. You know, I want this baby to fire just like that. You know, and I'm exaggerating here. You know, we don't have a degree wheel or nothing, but you get the idea. So the, the connecting rod is already facing this way, assuming the crank is going this way. Okay. So if, if, if the rod, if the crank's going around this direction. You know, that's where I want to be. But since this is an opposite rotation engine, I want it the other way, see? I want this like that, okay? Because the crankshaft's going this way on the left wing, I want that rod to be cocked over. I hope I explained that correctly, but uh, that's why piston thrust is important. Now, a lot of engines, even from the factory, I've seen a lot of Chryslers that the pistons aren't turned around. Is it absolutely mission critical? No. Should it be done? Yes. It should be done for the best life expectancy of the engine, you know. Uh, but there's a lot of Chevys and Fords and that that I saw that were not this way. But that F means front, but they're assuming you're not working on a marine engine, you know, ops rotation. That's what the F stands for, and the notch. And that's why they're directional. Not all pistons are directional, but most are. And that's why I say that offset, that's huge. So, and like we say before, I'm going to go ahead and cut this neural off. And uh, so we can put one of our trick uh, non-serrated rear seals in so this thing doesn't leak. So there's a orientation on, or excuse me, there's a uh, synopsis of piston orientation, why we turn them around, and uh, why there's an offset in the pin for a major and a minor thrust side. So on a normal rotation engine, this would be the major thrust side of the piston, this would be the minor side, okay? But since this is reverse, it's opposite. So, okay, I got the 318 crank set up in the grinder. Obviously, it's a brand new crank with only looks like just barely runtime. So, what I'm going to do is I want to take that neural off. Now, I mic the crank. It mics two inch 697, and according to my AERA book, looks like standard main rear seal diameter is two inch 690. So, that's actually perfect. This is probably going to take about six seven thousandths probably to take that off there so i'm gonna go ahead and grind that off and remic it and uh, we should be good six seven thousand even if it was at two six ninety six seven thousandths isn't anything you know you figure on a circle like that what are you talking you know three three and a half thousandths you know that that rubber seal can take that so but main thing is we got to get rid of this neural because it's going the wrong way and we're going to put a seal in with no serration and no neural so that should seal us up on this old 318 around um, about three thousandths off or so. Um, I'd like two, two inch 694 now. I got a little remnant and a little bit of surface rust on there from the uh, engine sitting around. I think I'm gonna take another couple out of this because I'm still well within my published specifications. So, but that's not bad. I'm sure that would seal anyway, but we'll take a little bit more off. All right, I got to turn where I want it. I come out at uh, two inch 689, so just one thou below the standard spec. There was just some pitting, but there's just a couple little spots left that aren't going to do anything. They're not in the seal area anyway. But the main thing is no neural, so we can use our seal with the uh, non serrated lip. So that is very important if we don't want this baby to leak. All right, one thing I want to talk about here sometimes when you have a car engine that was originally meant to be in a car. Uh, Chrysler had these secondary secondary AIR ports for secondary air injection. And these holes are wide open because the exhaust manifold on a car had tubes there. So what you gotta do is you just tap these to quarter 20 and then put short balance hexes in the block of line.